got me fucked up. I told you to unfollow that bitch. You put heart emojis under her fucking picture. Man, it was nothing but a damn picture. Why are you following her? Why are you Why are you following her? You got me fucked up, you nigga. You keep up. You keep you up. You ain't gonna do no shit. No more dick. No more dick. No more dick. I just... No more dick. Keep no more dick. Keep talking. But no more was... dick. No more dick. Say another word. No more dick. Now I sat there and told you and them but a damn picture. Now you sit back and shut up or you won't get no more dick. You hungry? What you want to eat? McDonald's? Chick-fil-A? All right then. No more dick. All right. One, one, shallow, one, shallow, one, shallow, one. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Child, for waking us up this morning. And uh, <clears throat> peace and blessings to you, brothers and you sisters in the new covenant. And um, I had a small little thought, man, and I'm going to get back into a lot of things concerning the, uh, the Gospels. And it's a plethora of things, I promise you. That I really want to break down, but um, it's gonna come with time, man. I'm not gonna force it. But <clears throat> I want to talk about something that a lot of Israelites don't like to talk about, man. But it's it's important when it comes to uh, for you believers uh, when it comes to conjugal duties. First uh, Corinthians seven, Exodus twenty one. And just identifying sexual frustration with your your child, man, your wife. So it was a girl named uh, Sydney, right, back then. And um, not to mention, like she was always aggressive and you know, kind of mean looking. But it was times where she was, you know, relaxing everything. And usually, usually, of course, she could have been through abuse. It could be a plethora of things, but it's not my right to talk about it. Um, but I went through her likes one day on Twitter and, um, she was just liking just hella porn, bro. Just, it could have been Edomite. It could have been, you know what I'm saying? It could have been a, a Jake. And, um, a lot of these, a lot of these women coming out, speaking about how they have porn addictions, porn addictions. So like you, well, it's very understandable because biologically all of us are designed to procreate whether y'all like it or not that's just something y'all can't run away from like i don't you israelites don't understand the basics of god but usually when a woman is sexually frustrated she will be very snappy very angry why because of that pent-up tension man um most of these men especially like the other nations <clears throat> I always see like millions of them on YouTube making up dumb shit about like well do pelvic exercises and do uh you know whatever and not even understanding like bro <laughs> when you when you when you when you drink lots of beer you do drugs you're destroying your damn temple like it's common sense. You're not taking in any vitamins you eat. They eat uh, a lot of things that contain soy. And on top of that, with a porn addiction, you're not getting a full erection. Or you're not even at your full length and girth, especially for you black men, no homo. And for you women, like these are, this is just common sense. You're not gonna get the full amount of pleasure you're supposed to. Um, a lot of these women are sexually frustrated because most of their husbands or their partners don't care, bro. As long as they get their nut off, all right, then they're satisfied. Basically depriving their partner, man. And stuff like that causes uh, adultery. It causes fornication. I'm not making this. Sh I'm not making this stuff up. This is real life. If you think, if you think otherwise, then uh. Y'all don't really live in reality for real. And I'm a virgin telling y'all this. This is common sense. Watch this woman. 
even even scientifically speaking, bro, like when you have when you have so much pent up tension, we have we have a strong urge to release it, like everything goes out the window. Like muff, like people can be at the job and like release. You feel me? Actually, some of y'all don't feel me, but I but I've heard about this at the job before. And then yesterday, I had a coworker, you know, so-called white dude. You know, he was making a joke about it with this uh, so-called Mexican dude. He was like, he was making a joke about uh, phalluses or penises or whatever. And the white dude was like, he said, yeah. Um, he said, well, the only thing I can see is my belly, you know. He said, he said, my thing, I can't even see it out the water. I was like, what the hell? Like, I just walked into the conversation, like, just randomly. But sometimes wisdom has a way of, like, showing you cheat codes. But I thought about that. And then, check me out. Because I, when, I, when, when I heard that, because you have a bunch of men, they'll be like, well, uh, 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 all, you know, the, the the phallus has the same function as every other man. And they'll try to group, you know, Hebrew black men into their world. And well, you guys are not, that's just a myth. And you guys, it's like, first of all, pause. Second of all, bro, you're, you're a woman, you know, sexually frustrated. And they talking about they don't achieve orgasm, all kinds of shit. But then you have these harlots online and all throughout the adult industry now all of a sudden it's this it's this phallus worship going on bro like it's 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 nonsense man instead of just using common sense getting the proper vitamins in your system mentally and spiritually fucking your women first bro that's where it starts bro a lot of jakes think like especially whoremongers they think they have this mentality where well, 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 I am, I am getting the physical pleasure. Well, and a lot of harlots too. Well, I am, I am getting the physical pleasure. You know, that's just, there's no such thing, no such thing as this. But you have, but the, bro, you nations be having a three, four inch rod, bro. But then you'll go online and they'll be like, well, it's the A spot, P spot, like all kinds of simple stuff. It's the cervix, it's this, and if it's if it's bigger, then it's not gonna be pleasurable. There's all kinds of shit. Instead of just saying they don't they don't understand sexual charisma at a high level or a high vibration. Because in their tradition in the nation's culture, like they don't really emphasize that. So they'll look at us like y'all are just sexual deviants and y'all are just, you know, you guys just think all of you guys have big penises and whatever. Okay. Now you're trying to body shame me for no reason. Second of all, what masculine, godly man does not want to have sex? A godly woman. All the people in the Bible had sex. Bro. The Mary had and Jesus had siblings. So she did. Like, what are y'all talking about, bro? Right. But then they'll try to ruin it and be like, well, when you when you get older, you're you're just you just gonna you just in your youthful lust and stop projecting your you know your five foot jumping brain. Like y'all y'all can only jump five feet. Y'all brain and the way y'all think, y'all can only jump five feet. If you take care of your body in your younger years, bro. Okay. It'll last a lot longer. But when you're eating McDonald's, fast food, y'all ain't jogging, you ain't working out. And this, and this don't count for whoremongers because athletes, because they'll, they try to uh, use it, use it to their advantage, man. But yeah, when you, when you, when you're eating bad, smoking weed, doing all kinds of just nonsense, you're not gonna be at your full potential. So when your woman mad and snappy. All right, the scriptures say when you gotta ravish her to humble her, bro. And it's a hormone that causes happiness. It causes what? Relaxation. Well, y'all wonder why she gets a lot. She gets a lot of energy. She's a. Uh, 
She all lovey dovey now. All right, it's a beautiful thing, man. Who 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 wouldn't want to tap some chocolate ass, man, and, and love up on your woman and then not commit adultery? Nothing I'm saying is unlawful, by the way. It's not law unlawful, nigga. Okay. And you Israelites and the New Covenant, you never go into the Greek. Okay, when it says lust in the Greek, bro, it says concupiscence, desiring for what is forbidden, man. Y'all have to stick to context. And I'm saying this because how is it, you know, you guys say, don't commit adultery, don't commit fornication. Well, if 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 you're not pleasing your man or pleasing your woman, how the hell, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are y'all doing, bro? You know, that's why you people who are in the world, y'all be th they they think like, you know, well I got a dress on, I'm modest and I'm submissive and well I'm a man of the Lord. It's like, bro, okay, okay, okay. But a lot of y'all have that can't vibration. A lot of you men, you follow you follow other men, and um, that really turns a woman off. You know what I mean? Just as far as you following other men, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it, it's not it's not gonna build the correct intimacy, man. And then on top of that, right? Sexual frustration. When you are becoming one flesh, put it like that, and it's in love, that's that that's when it's the most pleasurable. Because her deepest darkest seek deepest darkest secrets will come out. She'll begin to say things that's been on her mind for forever. Okay? I had a it was a whoremonger Puerto Rican dude. He was like, man, I was smashing this one girl and she was talking about, you know, I love you. And I was like, man, nah, bro. But it's like that shit first first of all, you okay, you're weird, bro. Second of all, how that doesn't how doesn't that turn you on as a man, bro? And that's how and then that's why, okay, that brings me to another point. Like effeminate energy on the low, bro. Women can feel this women can feel, especially Israelite women, they can feel feminine energy. That's not going to work to how God designed it, how you how it designed intimacy. That's not going to work, bro. And <laughs> I even see Miracle posted about this. Like so many Asha has been saying like, bro, like you dudes ain't even putting it down right. And it's shame but for you niggas. Y'all need to be ashamed of y'all bro. We're not, we're not just, no, bro, like, on, like, bro, like, what are y'all doing, bro? Just ass backwards, man. Um, but yeah, what are y'all doing, yo? All right. So, I just thought to say that, all right, just for a commentary video, y'all gotta be wary of that, man. And um, whether you're single or whether you're married, there's always times to look out for, it, man. But don't don't be thinking it's awkward. And, like some of y'all brothers, you know, like G like a lot of GMS brothers, they tell you, oh man, you know, well, don't spend time with your woman and and I, and like that gang shit, like bro, that is gay, bro. No, and I'm glad I got away from y'all, man. Real, cause that that is trash, man. <clears throat> you know. And honestly, I'm gonna say this just to clear the air, man. I wish I never met a lot of you stinking ass Israelites, bro. But I mean, I guess I have to go through what I had to go through. Uh, yeah. So increase the vitamin intake, or uh, increase your uh, my bad. Put some effort into your appearance. Uh, get some Listerine, bro. Like that's in the scriptures, man. For all you guys who don't read the law, bro, like the Levitical priests couldn't even be ugly. You know, they had to, they had to trim their uh, their locks too, man. So don't so don't be like Yashala Milwaukee talking about oh uh, why why are you 
Why you dudes getting haircuts for these women? Like, stop, man. Stop, bro. On a side note, righteous women are not attracted to smooth face, no beard, having as men, bro. Like, that's some Hellenistic Roman Greek stuff, bro. And you women, too. Y'all need, need to increase your vitamin intake because y'all libido be hella low, man. But again, to each his own. But uh, with that being said, peace and blessings. And uh, shalom.